What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6 and today we are in the all new RTR Mach-E. Now, I'm not going to say Mustang because it's not a Mustang, it's a Mach-E. A Mustang is a V8 with a 5.0 and all those American ponies screaming out of the back. So to me, this is definitely no form of Mustang in any capacity. So on my channel, we're going to call it the Mach-E. So again, we have the RTR Mach-E, brand new to Forza Horizon 5 and video game franchises everywhere. I wanted to actually do something a little bit different with this car because it's most well known for simply shredding drift tires all over the place, but I wanted to actually shred some off-road tires in the mud. I have built an S1 class rally monster with this RTR Mach-E and I have to say it is a ridiculous amount of fun and I would definitely recommend doing this to your RTR Mach-E as well. Having said that, let's go ahead and take a look at the car really quickly. Now, first off, the paint was done by a pretty prolific Forza painter out there that is known as Null Crazy 80. I've got a few of his paints downloaded and it looks amazing. It's very, very detailed all around the car and it still keeps that monster slash GoPro and Ford Performance RTR theme. And we all know that Von Gittin Jr. is sponsored by Monster. So we wanted to go ahead and keep that theme going. I especially did since we were going to be throwing this thing around on some dirt trails. Go ahead and download this paint today. It is available for your Mach-E. Now as for upgrades, there's really not a whole lot you can do to the RTR Mach-E, of course, other than adjust tires, which you know we have the off-road race tires. I widened the front width just a little bit and then went full wide on the rear tires. As for the wheels, I went for the super lightweight Wed Sport TC105Ns. They drop a ton of weight and uh, help the handling out just a little bit. Left the stock wheel size on the front and the back, and then we adjusted the front track width and the rear track width to as wide as possible, of course. Now, the differential, we did install the Rally Diff, and everything else, unfortunately, is really just handling upgrades. I installed the race brakes, the Rally Springs and dampers, of course, and we actually did a little bit of weight shedding to get us to the top of S1 class. We are at S1 900 with a absolute pig of a car, being thrown down dirt trails and i have to say it is a ton a ton of fun whether it's a really fast competitive car or not it's really not but again it's a lot of fun in the way of tuning uh, it is on screen now so if you'd like to copy this feel free or if you'd like to download my tune my gamer tag is connor speed six and is available for download today tire set as low as possible gearing the final drive is adjusted at 3.2 i found that if i was a little bit higher and had a, a really lower acceleration from zero to a hundred it was still losing grip even above 100 miles per hour in some of the high speed corners and was there was a lot of drifting and sideways action which is always fun of course but i still want it to be a little bit more controlled alignment set negative 2.5 in the front negative 2.1 in the rear with a front toe out and a front caster angle set to seven anti-roll bars almost full soft in the front in the rear we have it set to 44 springs almost full soft in the front and the rear and then the ride height adjusted down to about six and a half inches tall damping 7.1 9.2 in the front and the rear on rebound bump stiffness in the front and the rear 2.4 2.8 arrow full on otherwise this thing's just going to be sliding everywhere which it already kind of does because it's so heavy unfortunately braking force set to 135 and here are my diff settings We've got 100 acceleration front, decel down to 20, rear acceleration at 100, rear decel to 15, actually going to drop that down to 10, and the center balance set to 60% in the rear. Now you could lower this down just a little bit and get away with it, I think, because like I said, there's a little bit more sliding going on, so I'm going to actually drop mine down to 55%, and we're going to call that a day. Again, I'm going to get this tune shared. It will be available for download today for your Mach-E. If you do download it, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. So first impressions of this car, whenever I jumped in it, I was kind of blown away about sort of just how difficult it was to actually drive. It sounds cool, of course, because it's all electric. We all know that. And it does really, really well at off-road. Now, again, it's not going to be the most competitive rally car or off-road car in the game. That's not what it's here for. It's just here to have fun. It's way too heavy to actually be a competitive race car. So if you're going to do anything with it, just do this for, for a good time. 
Uh, or, of course, turn it into a drift car to take it to, into some online drift lobbies. But having said all that, let's go ahead and take it into an event and see what type of time we can put in on one of my favorite rally stages in the game and see how it feels, you know, just overall. Right now, it feels really, really good. I say we take it right down here to the Cascadas Trail and see what it looks like in Rivals. <laughs> okay, so the only time that I've set on this route is using my 1998 Supra uh, that I built an S1 for rally racing. It's the Welcome Pack Supra. It is stupid. It's just a dumb car that I built with way too much horsepower and off-road tires. And it's, it's actually really, really fast, but it's, it's difficult to tame. Uh, so we're going to see how the Mach-E does against my time in the 98 Supra. Let's get it. All right, here we go. I absolutely love this car. This car, crossover, SUV, hatchback, I don't know what the hell it is. All I know is it's fun to drive. As you can see, the Supra definitely has the acceleration on me. All right, breaking into the first corner. Let's see if I can get this rotated. That Supra again, very difficult to drive. I dirtied the run on that first corner in the Supra. Uh, but we're clean so far in the Mach-E, or as they say on the Forza stream, the mach -E, and I've already dirtied my time here. Like I said, it's a bit of a pig. It's very heavy, and it kind of lumbers down the rally routes. And there's not a ton of lateral grip, even with these off-road tires uh, and a, a pretty good rally tune, if you ask me. It still lacks a lot of the lateral grip that we need on the mud and dirt to actually be competitive. That's why I keep saying that this is strictly just for fun and uh, just for playing around on some online lobbies with some friends and things like that but nothing you want to take an online adventure i guess you could take it in horizon open if you really wanted to have a little bit of fun and you know, see just how competitive it was against some of the better players out there it's definitely not something i'd recommend if you want to be competitive take oh take one of the other rally cars that are more well known to be a competitive car as you can see here i'm struggling to actually keep up with my supra but that super like i said is extremely fast it has I think 1100 horsepower uh, but it's really difficult to drive as is this though really excited to have this car in the game honestly Von Gittin Jr. oh teaming up with Forza it's so very cool for performance on board of course anything that we can get from Von Gittin Jr. and RTR is a welcome addition to the franchise they're very cool cars to have uh, and just new and exciting of course uh, so I've taken over the, the the Supra here. Let's see if I can hold it to the end. We're at 88%. Run this wide through the river so we don't slow down too much. I'm still way out in front here. Oh, that was a beautiful set of corners. 210.8 it looked like. 210.898. Not too shabby, I guess. Not too shabby. Still about, I think, 10 seconds off of like the top 1% times. And I dirtied the hell out of it. Probably three or four times, but it doesn't matter. Representing the Horizon Drift Club race suit there. Uh, that's always cool as well to have new and improved and exciting race outfits. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So throwing it into rear wheel drive here. I wonder how this thing does on the dirt in rear wheel drive. It's already very floaty. So I would assume it's not going to do very well at all. Oh yeah, it's, it wants to eat. <laughs> Definitely not a car you want to throw into rear wheel drive for S1 Rally. Uh, I can confirm that right now. I'm keeping it on the road, of course. But as you can see, I can't even get it over 100 miles per hour. Once once it just gets that e-torque going, I guess, you know, up around the 100 mile per hour range, it, it just wants to go. The back end wants to kick out. After all, that's what it's built for. But, oh man, just an exciting car to have, honestly. It's so damn cool. It looks amazing. I love the Mach-E personally. I've seen him in person. There's a bunch of them in my my area that I live in. Again, I'm not gonna call it a Mustang because a Mustang makes beautiful noise and is gruff and 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 raw. And this is not. This is a more refined e-car that can actually be driven like, like a beast. It, it has options to be a really, really cool performance electric car on the road. I keep saying car, but again, what the hell is it? Is it a crossover? I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, be sure to download this paint from Null Crazy 80 It is available for download today. And if you use my tune, let me know your thoughts. I really appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you so much. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I have been a Connor Speed Six. Much love, everyone. See you soon.